Good day everyone. This tutorial is about how to get easy screen Android recordings. This is how to screen record PowerPoint presentation lessons or video presentation lessons using your smartphone. Since ina-anticipate na natin ang mga changes sa ating mga pagtuturo, this new normal, pwede nating magamit ito pagka kailangan nating mag-send ng mga recorded videos with face cam features or yung para makikita pa rin ng mga learners natin ang mga facial expressions natin habang nagtuturo. What is the use of AC Screen Recording? It is a free application that supports recording actions performed on the Android device screen. Good thing about using this app is that aside from it is free, it is user-friendly, it has no time limit, there is no watermark, it has a face cam feature and there is also a built-in editor and marami pang ibang features na pwede ninyong makita at pwede ninyong ayusin yung settings pag nakita nyo ang tutorial na gagawin natin ngayon. So make sure you already downloaded the app para masundan natin ang tutorial. So, pag in-open natin ang screen recorder app, mapapansin ninyo na magkakaroon ng camera button sa screen ng cellphone ninyo. So, explain natin one by one what are those buttons that you can see when you click that small camera button. Let's open the AC screen recorder app for us to be able to see the features and settings. Pagka in-open natin ang app, may makikita kayong tatlong icon which is the video, screenshots, and settings. So, isa-isahin natin. Sa videos, dun mailalagay o makikita yung mga tinake nating screen recordings with or without face cam. So, sa settings, marami tayong makikita ang pwedeng baguhin na like video configurations, control actions, recording toolbox. Ayan, kung landscape or portrait, pero ang default niya, is auto, meaning automatic siya depende sa kailangan mo. At pwede mo rin i-change yung time lapse or bilis o bagal ng video. So, naka-disable naman yan. Pero ang mga options dito, kung gusto mo nang mabilis or medyo mabagal, pwede. So, turn on record audio. Dun masesave yung output. And meron ding green screen. So, sa control option settings naman, you can hide the record window during recording. So, halimbawa, gusto mo lang makita yung control recording sa notification bar, just turn on or enable this option. And then, the next is use magic button. Ano ba yung use ng option na to? What will happen pagka tinurn on natin ang magic button? So, single tap to pause or resume, ito yung parang shortcut para mas mapadali yung screen recording natin. So, just a single tap to pause or resume your recording. And then, pwede kang mag-double tap to stop the video or the screen recording. Then, pwede ka namang mag-long touch to draw. Next is stop option. So, ito naman, ang gamit nito ay to stop when the screen is off. And then, stop, unshake, just shake your phone para mas stop yung screen recording. And then, enable time limit. Halimbawa, ang gusto mo lang is 4 minutes, 5 minutes, or depende sa time limit na gusto mo. And then, meron ding maglalagay ka ng time limit lang. Halimbawa, 10 minutes lang ang gusto mo sa screen recording, automatic mag stop siya. Bawa ayaw mong magkakaroon ng pop-up window while you are having your screenshot, then just turn it on. Next is yung countdown before start. You will turn this on para magkaroon ng countdown before mag-start yung screen recording. And then the last one for the control option is yung countdown value. Ito naman, binago natin to, ginawa kong 5 seconds para medyo matagal bago mag-start yung screen recording. But the default countdown value is 3 seconds only. In the recording toolbox settings, you will see the screenshot, 
camera, brush, text, and logo. So, pwede mo i-turn on and off ito. Yan, syempre, alam naman natin ang gamit ng screenshot. So, turn it on para makapag-screenshot tayo using the AC Screen Recording app. And then, pagka gusto mong lagyan ng face cam or camera yung screen recording mo or video, dapat i-turn on mo yung screen recording option. And then, pagka gusto mo namang magsulat o gumamit ng brush, ang makikita naman dito ay pwede kang maglagay ng text sa screen while taking a video. So, yung text na yan, pwede mong baguhin depende sa kailangan mo. Pwede kang maglagay ng mga topic na kailangan mo na i-display mo sa students habang nagtuturo ka. Pwede mo ring baguhin yung font, yung color, yung background color, and yung size. Pagdating naman sa logo, nakalagay din dito na makikita nyo sa screen yung logo ng AZ Screen Recorder. Pwede mo namang baguhin yan, pero ang pwede mo lang ilagay is yung sticker. So, nasa sa'yo na kung ano yung gusto mong baguhin sa settings. And then, the last one is yung others. If you want to remove the ads. Pero pagka tinurn off natin to, kailangan na natin magbayad. So, this time, ipapakita ko po sa inyo ang video tutorial na pwedeng gamitin ng mga Android users only. Screen recording with Facecam app using your Android smartphone. Here are the things you need to set up or prepare before filming a video. Smartphone. Wired or wireless earphones, tripod, PowerPoint presentation, screen recording app, and your ring light is optional. Here are some reminders before start filming. Your content, your script, or PowerPoint presentation. Select a suitable location for your presentation. And as much as possible, walang background noise ang lugar na ito. Set up your phone shot. Dapat nasa tamang height or eye level lamang ito. Connect your audio. Use your phone headset or wireless earphones para mas malakas o mas malinaw ang pagsasalita mo. Additional tips, make sure to have enough battery before recording. Enough phone memory and enable flight mode. Or do not disturb mode. Or turn off notifications. Okay, let's start the video recording lessons with face cam. Go to settings and turn on the camera. Move the face camera on top of your screen. You may now open the prepared lesson presentation. Run the slideshow and you may start this discussion proper. You may also utilize the brush tool. How to cut or edit your video recordings? First, go to AZ Screen Recording app, choose the video, then click the option button and click edit. The options for editing are the following. Trim video. Convert to GIF. Apply a frame. Crop video. Put background. Your paint. And add audio, text, and stickers. So this is just one way on how to record our lessons using Android phone so that our students or learners could be able to see us while we are discussing. Thanks for watching!